Welcome to Way to Go. I'm not really sure how to introduce this game, so I'll simply say that I went into it without knowing really anything about it, and I came out of it just feeling uplifted and refreshed. It was an amazing experience, and I absolutely adore it. And I think the best way for you to experience it is probably to go in just as I did, without really knowing anything about it. So if you are at all intrigued, then I would highly recommend playing it for yourself. I'll have a link in the description. You can play it right now, in your browser, completely for free. However, I know there's some people that would prefer watching a playthrough. So for those people, I'm going to have a full playthrough in just a minute. So here's what I'm going to do. This game has incredibly lush audio and wonderful sound design. And there's something about the mood of it that just made it feel wrong to put my voice over the playthrough. So I'm going to present the entire playthrough without any commentary whatsoever. And then after it's finished, I'm going to come back and give my extended thoughts about it. And I'm also going to put a timestamp in the description to where you can skip straight to my thoughts. So if you've already played it for yourself, or you're about to, you can just go straight there. So, sit back, relax, crank the audio, and let's begin.
So what is it that I liked so much about way to go Well, I don't even know where to start, really, because it's pretty much everything. Let's just start with the first thing that hit me when I started playing. The first thing I noticed was how incredibly cool this game is from a technical perspective. I believe what they did for the beginning section of the game is have some sort of a 360 degrees camera rig that they mounted on a pole. And I think they just basically walked with this camera rig on this pole and just kept taking pictures or video. And then when you're playing the game, when you go to walk or run forwards, I think it's advancing through the frames of this video. And you can turn around and look in whatever direction you want because it's 360 degrees and it's the whole thing's been like stitched into a spherical form or something like that. I've never seen that done in a game before and it's incredibly cool. The idea that your movement is not, not completely unfettered, but rather you're kind of walking through the frames of a video basically. But you can still look through the video frame in 360 degrees, you can just look all around. It's this interesting mixture of kind of on rails, because you have to advance through the frames, you can't go backwards. But also freedom, because you can pan around and look any direction that you want. Probably the next thing to hit me was how incredibly lush the sound design was. And I think lush is the perfect word. It's just incredibly full and just filled with wonderful sounds. You could pretty much close your eyes and just picture the environment. Everything from the crunch of leaves or grass underneath your feet to the sound of the wind when you're flying up in the air. And the sounds are wonderfully responsive to your actions as well. If you start going really fast when you're in the air, you can just hear the wind just blazing past you. And the music actually starts to speed up. It's also a really playful game. It's just, it's so responsive to what you do. I, I just kept feeling like I could click or press space or just press really any kind of key. And at any one moment, something completely different might happen from what happened before. Things just kept changing constantly and I wanted to just keep poking and prodding at the keys and the buttons just to see what would happen. If I pressed space when I was on the ground, my character would jump up and when they hit the ground it would make this kind of deep reverberating noise. But when I pressed space when I was in the air, my character would do a sort of like a somersault, like a flip through the air and it would make a different kind of noise. And the noises were always melodic. You can just keep pressing and clicking buttons and it would make this wonderful noise that really meshed well with the music. And it was almost like you're kind of playing an instrument yourself. Like you're a part of the song. The whole experience was one of just wonderful curiosity and exploration. I like to imagine that the main character was maybe an entity from a different planet. And it just came to this planet and it doesn't know anything about what's on it. And it's just filled with curiosity about everything around it. And I could feel the sense of joyful curiosity in even the most basic things. Such as near the beginning of the game, if you just click pretty much anywhere, whether it's up in the sky or even on the ground, your character would kneel down or kind of put their hand over their eyes so that they could see better. And then we would just switch to this little video of like this super close up of maybe a bird or an insect or just something rustling in the wind. Just exploring and just looking around and appreciating the environment. I just felt completely transported to this different world. This incredibly kind of serene and almost meditative place. It just felt wonderful. I was full of curiosity and just poking and prodding around everything. I was soaring up through the air. And my character always had a perpetual smile on its face the entire time. If I had to pick one word to describe way to go, it would be joyful. It's just a really joyful game. It's it's happy, it's wonderful, it feels great to be in it, to be experiencing it. It's just it's just lovely. It really is lovely. So, once again, this has been Way to Go. It is completely free to play. You can play it right now in your browser, and I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out. Thank you for watching.